Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. Just the other day, I talked to somebody who is writing a book. She is a energy healer, Reiki master, does a lot of coaching as well. And she's super excited. She's almost done with the book. And I said, no, that's great. I'm so happy for you. And I really am. She's a wonderful person. I said, have you um, have you thought about doing an audio book? She said, yeah, yeah, but I don't even know how to go about that. We've got that for you. For anybody who is a a nonfiction author, this guy right here can coach you through, help you figure out everything when it comes to recording. Yes, you recording your own audiobook. And we're going to talk about that today with Robert Lane from Robert Lane Coaching. Welcome back, Robert. How are you? Doing great, Steve. Glad to be back. Um, yeah, I tell you, you know, authors are great writers. Obviously, you know, when you write your nonfiction book, you have this fantastic story that you're telling. And your voice is in the written word. Uh, and now when you take it to the next level, it only makes sense for you as the author to narrate your own audiobook. Now, I know some authors have a little bit of hesitation. Ah, I hate my voice. I don't sound good. I, I can't do that. And that's so not true because you can. The authors that I've worked with uh, in the uh, Your Book, Your Voice audiobook coaching program that I te teach, uh, they have... Um, they may have started off with a little apprehension, mm -hmm. with a little bit of uh, a lack of confidence, and that's completely understandable. But part of the program that I teach is helping you through that aspect of it. It's not just, this is how you narrate. You know, <laughs> there's a lot more involved in, in the program. And that aspect of it, the, the mindset aspect of it, the emotion, you know, the energy and the focus and the belief Believing in yourself and believing in your voice is crucial to doing a great audiobook. So you absolutely can do it. You have the voice to do it. I'm glad you said that last part because many people, even when they you hear them listen to their outgoing message on their cell phone, it's like, oh, I can't even listen to my voice. Oh, it's horrible. No, it's not. Whatever you're hearing, that's not what the rest of us are hearing. We all sound great in a different way. It's our own unique style. And, but again, I understand like when people get a cold and I learned this years ago when I would you know, talk on the radio, I get a cold. I'm like, ah, oh, man, I can I'm nasally. Nah. Nobody hears it unless you're really stuffed big time. Nobody hears it. <laughs> like it's, we hear it because it's resonating in our head, but yeah. it's not that way. Everybody can and does sound great. And that's before your coaching, then you turn them into superstars from there. Right. And I tell you, every time that uh, I finish doing the uh, audio post production on on a client's audiobook, and I output it and I listen to it uh, and get it prepared for uh, publication to Audible, Amazon and Apple Books, I really get to listen. And every time I get sucked into their story every ah. time. And that all that tells me mm. is that they are doing an awesome job that they, you did it. You as an author did a great narration. I hear this stuff all the time. And if you're pulling me in and I'm engaged into your story, and after I finish a chapter, I'm like, well, wait, wait, send the next chapter. What happens next? I'm already <laughs> excited about your book and I'm, you know, and I'm working on it. Uh, that wow. just tells me that you have what it takes to do a great narration. Can we play some examples? Yeah, sure. Why not? All right. So I found these on your website and these just so we're clear with everybody, these are just regular people. These are authors. They don't have any, I don't know why my camera keeps shutting off. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> uh, I'm not even touching anything. These are regular people that wrote a book and then you coach them on the audiobook side. And yeah. here's an author and their audiobook of Purgatory to paradise and we're just going to play a, a quick clip here we go i walked yeah. into the packed waiting room in a daze and numbly motioned to my boyfriend for us to leave we walked to the elevator only when the door closed in front of me did i allow myself to collapse against the wall tears streaming down my face i did not say a word so that's an author that's not a professional speaker wow 
she she, uh, she is amazing. That's uh, the author. Her name is Mawish Syed. Her book Purgatory to Paradise is an incredible uh, journey of how she overcame cancer. She she lives in New York, by the way. Mm. She is a professional interior designer and she uh, went through a cancer journey and that's what her book's about and that is her this is her voice this is her style this is how she speaks this is how she tells her story and it is so compelling it wow. is so compelling she is fantastic and she I, i'm sucked in i don't mean to cut you off but i'm so i agree that, that, <laughs> what was it 20 seconds and i'm like what happened next <laughs> yeah yeah and that's and wow. she you know, I mean, obviously it makes sense because she's a, an interior designer, uh, but uh, she's very visual. And the way she wrote her book and the way she narrates her book, it creates a lot of visuals. And and more, have you drawn into that story and how she overcame cancer? What a great thing. And now she's using her audiobook. And this is something that, that authors pay attention to this because she's using her audiobook to, to book speaking engagements at cancer centers, at hospitals, at all these other places. So her audiobook is expanding her business and expanding, you know, mm. her as an author brand. And I'm glad you said that because a lot of times when you book somebody, they want to know what do they sound like? I mean, mm. I'm I'm working with a doctor now trying to get him some press. He's he's working uh some human humanitarian efforts overseas. And they want to know, well, what does he sound like? Can he talk? I mean, <laughs> hearing that, I would book her in a second. That story is just compelling. Let, let's pick another one. Sure. Uh, I'm going to randomly just grab, and I'm not using yours. I see yours up here. Yeah, yeah don't use mine. <laughs> <laughs> Cheating. Oh, because that, that wouldn't be fair. Just, uh, all right. Here's one called Fortunate Accidents. Here we go. Quick sample. We traveled across the United States multiple times worked for rafting companies in West Virginia and Colorado, taught swiftwater rescue classes, trained new raft guides, and avoided getting caught when we were up to no good. Mather had listened to me discuss mindfulness, both on the river and in medicine over the years. As I pointed out the crossovers from his description and earlier conversation to what I had pieced together in my own formula, Mather looked at me with an ear-to-ear -ear grin and said, did I tell you about the seals I was training in Coronado? I shook my head. No. Wow. Tell me about that book, that author. Fortunate a Accidents. Uh, that's another great book. Uh, Matt Solomon, uh, who uh, takes his journey of life, basically, and the things that had happened to him in his life, uh, a variety of, of uh, situations that uh, were accidents some were you know, people would consider bad oh what a horrible thing to happen but he calls it fortunate accidents because he sees the positive side of things that happened post accident if this didn't happen i never would have done this i would have never accomplished this you know and and he also talks about how to even when things are just uh, in dire, which just seems like a dire situation, how there, how you can find hope, you can find positivity, uh, and you can move on with your life. So, a really inspiring book, you know. And he uh, he was talking about because uh, he loves river rafting. He lives in Colorado, and uh, he was doing rafting. Uh, he had he talked about one of his fortunate accidents is when he uh, was on uh, doing some skiing and he had an accident and actually broke uh, his back but you know again he came back and uh it's just very very inspiring yeah and he sounds great like i would i i would hire him to read my audiobook if if i needed somebody but it looks like unbelievable um yeah again do these are one. these are just authors who've written great books nonfiction authors who have published fantastic books and they are narrating their own book this is what they sound like this is the quality that you're going to get you know when you work with me in my audiobook coaching program because I do all your editing for you and make sure you that you are to the exact specifications for publication and I will make sure that you sound fantastic oh then before we listen to this one let's and this is no one in particular I'm just picking the next one but these are recorded with the equipment you gave them and yes. we don't know what room they're in. They could be in a bedroom. They could be in a basement, whatever. 
Uh, they're not in professional recording studios. You send the equipment that's theirs for them to keep. Yes. Especially if you want to work on another audio project, maybe another book, you want to do an audio book. Uh, this one is called A Fire to Be Kindled. Before I have any chance of convincing you to care more about learning, it might make sense to share a little bit more about me. The first thing you should know is that I am on a mission to empower learners. I founded an education company called Prenda that helps people run micro schools for K through eight students. The mission is literally to empower learners. I try to be an empowered learner myself, and I spend a lot of time thinking about the mindset and behaviors that lead to powerful, transformative learning. Hmm. Tell us about that author. Yeah, Kelly Smith uh, has, uh, he started Prenda, which is, uh, as you mentioned, a micro school. Basically, it's, it's, um, it's an alternative way or just an alternative approach to just your uh, standard uh, schooling, you know, where, where uh, it really encourages kids to problem solve, to open their minds, to, to you know, tackle hard problems uh, and, and give them the confidence to be able, you know, to do it. And, have, you know, and, and so it's just another uh, way of or another approach on how to really expand your mind and and to learn and uh, he shares some really great stories uh about uh, his program in his book and uh it's just uh, again here's a guy who who is doing something to help uh, kids that's just growing and expanding and his book is and he shares some really good stories in there so mm. and and again here's a guy who is in his office uh Maoish, i believe when she did purgatory paradise she had her little office space Matt Solomon with Fortune and Accidents set up his recording space in his uh, in his closet. <laughs> and that's how great he sounded. So, you know, it doesn't matter where you set it up. And like you mentioned, Steve, I do send you the professional equipment, microphone, headphones, everything that you need to set up your own recording space. And I show you how to do it. And then I teach you how to do a great narration. You send the files back to me. I do the editing, clean them up, make sure they sound great. And I upload them for you into Audible, Amazon, and Apple Books for publication. So it's wow. that simple. I know uh, you, you work with a, a lot of people over the years. In your memory of those three, how long did it take them to, to do their books? You know, just to, if it, even if you remember one of them, kind of curious. Sure. Okay. So the Your Book, Your Voice audiobook coaching program is a six-week program. You will complete your audiobook within that six week period. By the end of the six weeks, I would have already uploaded your files for publication, depending on how fast you get the files to me and I get them edited, you can technically even have your book launched by the end of the six weeks if you're that, you know, if it's that fast. But, uh, but I guarantee you that you will be published on Audible, Amazon and Apple Books uh, by the end of the six week program, your files will be uploaded for publishing. And then it only takes roughly 10 days for it to go live. So you're guaranteed 100% to be published. Uh, you own your audio book 100% across the board. I don't take any royalties. I don't take anything from any of your sales. You hire me as your as your audiobook coach and producer. And that's and that's all I'm there to, to do for you. Uh, I don't want your 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 money uh, for your sales. That's yours. This is your book. Wow. <laughs> so, it's all yours. I, this it was fantastic hearing these. Just it gives you more of a tangible feel um, for regular authors and just kind of doing their thing and and the whole process of the the recording and and what it sounds like. It sounds fantastic. Uh, I'm you know I'm kind of geeky with audio. I'm even shocked how good that sounds. Amazing. It's you know it, you again as an author you can narrate your own audiobook. And again, having a coach to help you along the process will make sure that you sound great. Plus, I've vetted you know, a lot of different USB mics and, and this one you know, does the job. It sounds great, easy to set up. Uh, you know, again, and I, I, the equipment is yours. I send it to you, it is yours to keep. Don't send it back to me, it's yours. <laughs> so wow. you can always use it. You know, if you have another audio book, great. Now you know how to record it. And you can hire me, you know, or go through Robert Lane Coaching still and just hire me as your audio editor, you know, which obviously it'll be uh, a different price point for audio editing than doing the whole package of coaching and editing and all that. But, you know, again, you'll still get the same top quality 
uh, that you did your first book in. Amazing. It's It reminds me of, you know, you have like cup of soup and it's just, just add water. This is like a <laughs> kit. With co- kit with coaching, just add voice. That's all you got to do. You add your voice to it and then you take care of the rest. Oh, and a computer. Everybody's got one. Right. Right. You yeah. know, so the first step really as an author is this. Believe in your voice. Love the voice you have. Trust that you have a great voice because you do. And trust that you have the ability to do a great narration because I will not allow you to do a bad narration. That's what a coach is here to do. And I'm, I'm your accountability partner. I will make sure that you will stay on track, that you will get your book done. It will sound great. Uh, if you have any struggles, I'm here for you. I'm your safety net. That's what a coach is there to do. And, uh, you know, there are a lot of moving parts in creating an audiobook. You do record each section of your book as a separate audio file. So you can maybe have 20, 30, 40 different audio files. And that's okay because you do it a section at a time. It makes it easy in regards to the recording process. And then don't worry about anything else. You worry about doing a great narration. You send the files to me. Let me do all the heavy lifting for you. And that's what we do. Editing, uploading even uh, teach you some marketing strategies for your uh, audiobook. It's all there. So it's a, a full package. <laughs> and unlike others that do somewhat similar to what you do, because I believe nobody else does what you do in the capacity, the way you do it as a coach, you listen to every word of their audiobook and every millisecond, really, you, you, because you comb through it. And if there's a, you know, somebody pops a loud pee on the microphone or dog barks and we didn't hear it, you're going to hear it, take it out, clean it up, make sure it's perfect, which to me, that's how this can sound so good recording in your closet because you've gone through it and made sure that it sounds great. And then might I add here, we do a test file as an author, you send a test file just to make sure, because we never want you to record the whole book and then find out, yeah, that sounds a little hollow and uh, it might not be in your best interest to you know, move forward. Yeah. You just give you give the thumbs up. Yep, yeah, that's good. Continue what you're doing. Um, it's fantastic. Like I, I wouldn't I would want to focus on my book, my voice, the sound, the inflection, the passion that went into the book in the read. And not worry about sending files to, uh, you know, the, the, the big three and all of that. I don't want to worry about that. I want to focus on the book. That's the fun part. Yeah, and, and I'm glad you said that because the last author that I, or the one I'm work, working with right now, he says, he said to me in our last one-on-one coaching session, he's like, I'm having so much fun. Yeah. I'm having a blast, re, you know, recording this. And I mean, he was so gung ho. He's only three weeks into the six week program. He's wow. already sent me his entire audiobook. He's already sent me all the files. He just went on a recording frenzy, you know, wow. and I'm like, look, just, you know, don't, if, you're, if you're getting fatigued or, or tired, or if your energy's dropping, you'll take a break. It's okay. You can, you know, but he's just, he's fired up and he's taking that energy and then excitement and he's putting it into his narration. And so far, his book sounds great. Wow. I mean, I'm having fun, you know, doing the editing and, and doing the uploading for them. <laughs> I got to imagine from an energetic standpoint, you feel the energy coming from people that are doing this. Like you can tell, like they're, they're fired up. They're passionate about it. You're passionate about making them sound great. Um, wow. Any points that we haven't hit so far that we should maybe talk about anything stand out for you? The most important thing uh, for anybody to do an audiobook uh, narration, especially you as a nonfiction author, again, you know, maybe speaking is not your forte, but uh, you can't do it. The, the thing is the intangibles. The intangibles are really the most important thing. And that's what makes a great audiobook. When you bring your energy, when you bring, you know, your uh, focus, your style, uh, your purpose, and the core reason of why you wrote your book in the first place. That's what you're bringing to the table. That's what comes out in your voice. Those intangibles, you know, uh, your passion is an intangible. But I wasn't always hear. obsessed or even I aware of the concept. Mistake. Didn't even mean to. That's never in happened. Fact, <laughs> I discovered it by accident. Wow. Uh, Before I have any chance yeah, of convincing you to, to care that. more about learning, what it might that? make sense to share a little bit more. About- That's so odd. You know what it was? I hit a key. 
Oh. And I, I was I, my hand just a, a, accidentally hit a key. Wow, didn't mean to didn't mean to cut you off there. Ah, that's okay. <laughs> but you know, again, as I mentioned, the, the intangibles. I mean, you heard it in in Mawish Syed's voice when she was talking oh. about you know her cancer journey. She was that little section was when she she was diagnosed and she was trying to hold herself together until she got into the elevator and then just lost it because that's devastating news. But again, her story is a happy story because she was able to overcome it. And she tells how she was able to do it. Mm. Incredible. Incredible. Yeah. And think of it this way. Nobody on the planet can record her book. They mm -hmm. just can't. And that, and hers is a very emotional, unique type story, but everybody's book, everybody's story is unique, meaning that no one else can do it. No one else can even come close to the way you're going to do it when you read your own book. That's right. That's right. No one, only you, the author, can speak your story the way you intend it to be told. Another narrator, no matter how great they are, are still going to interpret it their way, not your way. Their inflections, the way they speak, the way they interpret is not going to be the way you would interpret, the way you speak, the way you talk. So again, believe in yourself, have confidence in yourself because you can do the job yourself and you can tell your story the way you want it to be told and preserve the integrity of your book. You have your uh, voice and your written word and you're just preserving that same style when you narrate your own audiobook. So you can do it. I, I want to show this from a different camera angle. So there's been times where I might have worked on a radio commercial and I needed a voice. There are websites where you can find voices. Hmm. It's similar to this. Like you'll hear a snippet of audio. You know, maybe they record a commercial or you know, TV bumper, whatever it might be. But it might be an audio book. If you told me, Robert, if you told me these were professional uh, voiceover artists, I gotta tell you, I believe you. She <laughs> sounds like it. The second guy uh, that that broke his back in in and came up with a bunch of different struggles, I believe it. The other guy, I would believe if you told me that. And this is just to illustrate that anybody with no experience can do this. Why? Because you have a voice. Everybody's is fantastic because it's unique and it's your book. Nobody's going to be able to give it what it needs than you because you wrote it. That's your baby. You birthed it. Yeah. And this is why I do what I do. I love being an audiobook coach and producer. Uh, it, it, you know, I love coaching and helping people and, and getting you as an author to sound that good because you can. And then, you know, I just, I like the audio side of things too. I've been doing it for 20 plus years as an editor, work 30 plus years in the entertainment industry and in various facets. So I take all that experience and bring mm -hmm. it into the, you know, to the coaching program. And again, you get this done in six weeks, not six months, not six years, not, you know, whatever. Again, there's other companies who take months to do your audio book and they try to push their narrators on it, on you, even if you want to do it yourself, or if you want to do it yourself, you have to go to their studio on their timeline with that pressure. And that is not how to do an audio book. You need to be comfortable. You need to be relaxed and you need to uh, be mm. able to deliver you know, your best without having that pressure of, oh, man, I only have an hour left and I got like two more chapters to read. How am I going to do this? That is not the way to do it. Mm. This is why you set up your own recording space, why I send you the equipment and help you set it up and have you do it on your timeline. You dedicate time to do your book. I hold you to that. <laughs> but, you know, again, this is in your space. So you're comfortable. It's quiet. You can focus. And that's when you do a great job. Wow. Uh, I'd rather record in my pajamas. I got to tell you, <laughs> why wouldn't you? Yeah. Uh, how do we start? Somebody hears this. Maybe they know somebody like I do who is an author. These are nonfiction books. Mm -hmm. Side note, you're a nonfiction author. You've yes. written books before. It's not like you're just somebody, you know, an audio tech. No, you got, you understand both sides of the, uh, of, of, of the process. How do we begin? Right. Um, go to robertlanecoaching.com. It's that simple, robertlanecoaching.com. All you need to do is book a call with me because I want to talk to you about your book. I want to establish a business relationship with you first because we are going to be working together. 
and then we get you enrolled. It's that simple. Uh, the best route is just go for the one-on-one -on -one coaching program because that means we can start right away. There, yeah. I have a group coaching program, but there's there's you know timelines when we start each month. But if you want to get yeah. going right away, book Love. that call. Remember, action takers are success makers. That's one of my catchphrases. Or how about this one? Procrastination equals stagnation. Do not be stagnant. Move your business forward. And my last cast phrase is you are the CEO of you. The buck stops right here. If you want to move your business forward, make that decision because you won't regret it. If you're an author, you haven't done an audio book, you're missing out. You are. That's it. Uh, yeah. Robert, always great talking with you. And uh, the samples that we played are on the website, robertlanecoaching.com. Thank you for today. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Steve. And authors, book that call. I look forward to talking with you. We'll be right back. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcast on the go, and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house. And there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit HFOTUSA.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's it's going to be okay.